okay? But when I'm talking about being complacent, I need y'all to understand that y'all, everybody needs to keep working so that everybody keeps pushing everybody else. A lot of people are going to push themselves with the groups they have and just work and work, and other people are just gonna say, oh, we got it. If we don't all get on each other, and if we don't continue to push, if you decide not to be over here, you're gonna be over here, unless you decide not to cheer anymore. But all the fundamentals, everything you need, we need to be getting it for everybody, okay? So, I still need us to be together. You are the University of South Florida, all girl what? What did I call you that at the beginning of this? Your what, government name or whatever? Yes because I need y'all to know that's what we are above, above all, okay? I wanna remind you going into the next three days that you're gonna have moments where you're challenged physically and you're gonna have moments where you're challenged mentally. But remember, pick each other up when they need it and don't wear your heart on your sleeves. The people that are coming in this building are hand selected to help you thrive. So don't take it personally. If they're here, we think that there is something you can soak up from them and we want you to do that and not be so like miserable on yourself. If you get better every day, that's the goal. Does that make sense? But we don't have like set leaders. It's if you're a vet, you've been on the team before, you have the opportunity and responsibility to step up and be a leader and help a team out, help a teammate out whenever they need it. So, but as a senior, I guess it, there is more responsibility on me in all aspects off of the mat and on the mat, but I don't feel like a senior, so it's really hard to say anything about it because it doesn't feel like it's my senior year, even though I know it is. Okay, USF has a certain culture. Some of the people here, like you said, are gonna challenge you mentally and emotionally, but they're also gonna be testing you on what kind of culture this program has because we're gonna be asking them, hey, how was it? working with that person. How did they, you know, that's what we want to know too. Today is pretty much, like I said, setting groups. Setting groups within groups within groups, okay? For the competitive side of our program. When it gets to game day skills like that, we, we are interchangeable. Everybody should know what role they throw, okay? And we'll be putting those things together also, like timeouts and things like that also when we do sideline and cheers. There are select invited high schools from four different counties coming in and then finishing the week with that really big camp, uh, really big um, clinic. So by then, everybody should finish this knowing how to represent the University of South Florida and go out to events and appearances. So really pay attention, not just to being at practice, but how you carry yourself throughout this week too, okay? That mini clinic will help. Yeah, the mini clinic on day two will really help you guys understand. I know some of you already got thrown into it at the coaches clinic, but now we need to understand exactly what the brand means, what you're representing, okay? I know I did that whole three mile challenge just to see if I can like push some of y'all or whatever else, okay? And I've, I've, I'll, I've told the story to somebody. Uh, I told the story to the staff here that all I was trying to do was try to speak to your mental mind. Okay? If you've ever really tried to run three miles, three sections in a, in, in a traditional routine, that's the way I look at it. And it's the opening, you have a lot of energy, it's the first mile. So you're smiling, Riley, because you, you mentally are going to understand what I'm saying right now. Okay, that first mile, you're good to go. Okay, you get to the cheer and you think you have just as much gas, but you really don't. And again, you're not just jogging, you're sprinting and it hurts. And by the time you get to the third mile and something screams inside of you, you should stop. There's something inside of some people that doesn't make you stop, okay? And I'm just using running as an example because when I was done, I wasn't breathing. I was gasping. I was so dead that cars passing me slowed down to make sure I wasn't dying, okay? I leaned against a tree and I stopped breathing. I started spitting. <laughs> just straight, straight spit and gas. And I looked on my watch and I go, good enough. Good enough. I wonder who else is gonna do it. And yes, it's until her birthday. And some of y'all might not be runners, but I'm gonna use that for an example right now. If you do not understand what I am talking about, do not put yourself in the traditional field this year. Okay? It is okay if you need more training or you look around at the people, just like dance moms, <laughs> Look around and assess yourself as your mama and ask yourself, am I strong enough to be over there? And if you are not, don't. If you think 
College is going to be hard. Don't. Because we did everything we were supposed to do for y'all last year to get hits. And game day did it. And game day started from day one. So guess what we're going to do? We're going to start from day one with the six sunk groups that I want to start working with. The, the system of waiting until October, I think, is broken. Everybody needs to keep working so that everybody keeps pushing everybody else. Post your videos. If I don't see you open gym, it didn't happen. Does everybody understand that? Okay. This is the best start of a, of a USF cheer program ever, in my opinion. We were at the uh, we're at the Sunshine College Retreat, um, and, it, and it's what we use to help prepare the kids for the season. Now, um, a lot of schools like to go to camp, and and that's how they bond and work on skills. But we find it's best to you know reach out to some of my some of our close friends in the industry that have a lot of knowledge that um, they can now share with our team to get them to be better. My name is Mark Coleman. I'm the head cheerleading coach at Moorhead State University. I've been involved in cheerleading for the past, um, I'm entering my 31st season of cheerleading, um, but I've been coaching for 28 years. And I've been the head coach at Moorhead State for the past 10 years. I'm entering my 11th year at Moorhead State. Um, cheerleading is my passion, it's my life. How many people are in a stunt group? Four. Four people. And you're gonna be all the back spots and you're gonna be the same build, size, and whatever else. I want you to go ahead and warm up and then we're going to play a very, very simple game. Bases, base, bases, back spots, base, back spots. So this is a time of where we're learning to spot and learning to fly and stunt safely. So if you're, if I'm flying, I don't really know what I'm doing, then everybody around me is going to be more aware and more into it. In the front. Nobody, oh, nope, bring it down, bring it down. With I stand, that, that. Layton likes to say that it's just for safety and it's like all serious, but I know he does it to start us, to get us laughing and get us happy and smiling and getting to know each other and bonding like with the team and even the other teams that were here with us, spotting with us, we're all laughing together. <laughs> we know who's winning. It's very fun too, especially when you hit a hand-to-hand, -hand, that's back spot. My name's Kaylin Jones, um, born and raised in Wichita, Kansas. Cheer background, I've done it all. I mean, I've been to five different schools. I started out at the University of Kansas, then I went to Navarro, which is an NCAA school. Uh, Memphis, Kentucky, then I finally graduated from Moorhead. Um, I was on Team USA. I also was in an all-star program, cheer athletics. And yeah, that's my background. I did UCA for about 10 years, 11 years or so. And, and yeah, won three different titles. Uh, one world title, and now I just do this kind of as a summer game. Bring it in, bring it in. No, nobody won. That was some bad cheerleading. No, no. We 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 are all losers in this room right now because I think my uh, my favorite part is when y'all do fit, hit the stunts in the air. Want to be top girls? How sharp you are with your high V's. Sorry, I didn't mean if I was gonna hit you. Um, whole purpose of that was to just you know learn how to be safe, and learn how to spot. Now we're gonna get into the more dangerous things. I'm gonna allow you to go ahead and warm up uh, for like 30 seconds, go to your normal stunt groups and remember what it's like to actually hit a stunt. So maybe do like a, a quick toss or a full up and then grab a quick drink. When we bring you back in, we're gonna allow the, um, the staff to introduce themselves and we're gonna go right into stunt class. All year we've been saying L&D, which means leave no doubt. And that leave no doubt for us is the mindset we're talking about. We're talking about knowing that they can do it and leaving absolutely no doubt 
um, in anything they do in life. We talked about leaving no doubt in the classroom this year, leaving no doubt in the weight room, leaving no doubt in their open gyms, their practices, and then just all the way through two a days, all the way onto that floor, leaving truthfully no doubt that we belong in the division. Last year, um, we felt like we left doubt as to whether or not we belonged in day two, even though for traditional, we felt like we did belong there. We were, we are one of the best teams. The truth is, is being one of the best teams isn't enough. We have to be the best team and our best self on the right days. 215, the uh, objective is still a full out today. And I, I racked my brain. I'm like, how are we going to do this? Uh, top girl, step forward, please. Five stunt groups, five full outs. When you go full out, everybody in your stunt group will go full out with all individual skills. Your pyramid in the cheer will go, your backhand full up pyramid will go, your basket will go in the second half. For you, do you understand? Yeah. Your shoulder stands would go, your elite would go, everybody in your stunt group would, would have to tumble, those are the bodies can do it, whatever. And then you would do what? Your backhand full up one, 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 and your ending pyramid sequence and your baskets. Good, you understand what you do? What do you have to do? <laughs> yes, thank you, and the ending pyramid. So that's one ending pyramid, that's two ending pyramids. You're, not, you're on the floor for the ending pyramid, right? So they skip that round, that's good. That's ending pyramid, ending pyramid. Okay, and? What else? Okay, so the, the, everybody has different responsibilities. So essentially, I would like you to hit your routine. I would like you to hit yours, and I'd like you to hit. Okay, when we go, and we'll go in this order. Is everybody good with that? We're gonna go in this order. When we go, everybody's on the floor going. This is this is an opportunity for you to get your own reps in. If you want to hold your, I'm gonna wait till my turn. Then that's fine. That's your choice. But when she goes. Everybody needs to spot all the things you're seeing and you need to be focused to know what's going on and know your routine. Everybody understand? So at, at the end of that, at the end of that, we're filming one full out all stunts. Okay, it doesn't have to be back to back to back, but you know, one, two, three, four, five, six routines. I got sixth place today in my run. I'm so upset. I won to win, but I beat all the 44 year, 43 year olds. So. Huh? Yeah. So. Are y'all ready? Birthday too. It's my birthday number two. Mindset. Look at her. It came right back around. All right, y'all ready? I'm not. Any questions? Nice. Get back. Then it's marking in.
Stop over twisting. Good form. Hold it, hold it, hold her, hold her. You got a routine to finish. There you go, stand up. P. She's huffing, look at her. There's something seriously wrong with your backhand pull-ups. And as a coach, I don't understand how you do it right and then don't. I have a seven-year-old daughter that once she figures out how to do something, she does it right after because she's learned it. What do y'all not, what have y'all not learned? <laughs> have you ever seen that, um, that TikTok trend of those like dogs and they're like dancing around? It's like, eh, I'm gonna say, you, know, you know what I'm talking about? Like they're like little dogs just like dancing. That's kind of what goes through my head when I'm getting yelled at. <laughs> like, I'm listening, but like, sometimes, like, I already know. Like, most of the time when I do something, like, in my head, like, immediately, like, I know what I messed up, and I know he's gonna say it right after. I usually just don't say anything. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna jinx her, but today is the best pyramid day I've ever seen from Michaela in my life. <laughs> ever. Like, the ones that should have fallen stayed in the end. I know, right. Okay, yeah, please do that one and that one. Ready. I'm doing this boot, this one. That back hand, yeah. Kayla Dick's going full out. Ready. That foot injury slowed her down. Um, so last Thursday at practice, we were doing the Bufu like one 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 pyramid. Um, I do that with Sammy. She's my mid layer for that. And it was like kind of coming off, like our spacing was off or something. And when it came off, they caught my chest. But then like these are these are my feet. She came down and either like we were really far apart, like her feet were really far apart. And so then when we dipped to like go back up to the shoulders. It was weird. And so then when it placed, it kind of just slid like forward, that like there was like a force just going forward. One foot like slammed and hit the floor and the other one slammed right on top of it. And then I continued to practice, not the best decision. So it was just a big ball of mess. And I ended up spraining a ligament in my ankle. Can you see the boot? <laughs> Fair enough. Once she once she gets once she gets some more reps, she's gonna click. It's over. This is individual skills and, and stunts in those two pyramids. It's your last full out for the day. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ask you to do anything more after this. This one will be on tape. We'll watch. We're gonna watch this one. And music's on. Yes, ladies. Come on! Ah, oh, he lost one, but it's okay. Finish. You lost two.
Get closer. That pyramid is still not to the front. Melanie, are you there holding that? Are you there holding that? Then why are you holding it now? Oh, uh, that's, that's stuff we got to figure out. We've done really well, and I see some frustrated faces. Like, you should not be being frustrated right now. Like, you're literally at the point where we are conditioning to run these full out and expecting them to be perfect on the first day of two days. That's a good thing. All of those things that we said that we were gonna do early were to put us in this spot early. So right now you need to go, it's good what we've done well, and now we have focal point things of what needs to be fixed. But you should, do not let your mindset be one of frustrated. Your mindset needs to be one of, okay, we did really good. We got some things to work on, but we are in a good place. Today's practice was a kind of a glimpse of what I wanna do in regards to what we just did here is what I would do for the morning practice with just traditional. Now, everybody else is gonna be working on the rodeo behind you, which is what I want them to do. Basically, if you're on the rodeo mat, you are uh, one of the, not one of the 20 selected to be on the traditional mat for nationals, but this pushes us to be able in, in the future be on traditional. So it's like we're getting reps in. I like that there's opportunity for different mats. And uh, like, I, can't, I always thrive under pressure. So to have that pressure come from Sandy and or Layton, it's just it, like it helps me like get to where I need to be. It keeps me motivated. So I actually love like the coach's idea with Rodeo this year because there's a lot of talent on our whole team and it sucks that only 20 of us get to showcase that at nationals. Everyone on Rodeo takes it really serious. Like we are using that as like a nationals. Like every practice we're making it count. We're like putting our all in. So it's, it's honestly really nice that we're getting to kind of show our progress and what we've learned through the year. And being on traditional last year, it's still definitely different. It's a completely new aspect to our USF program. I've been on mat two times, the other two years was game day, but we've never had a rodeo before. So this is completely new to me. So handling it is, st I'm still learning. We want to do this routine to the best of USF All Girls ability. So every time we mark this and we run something, I want you to ask yourself, what more could I have done to make, to make what I needed to do look better, okay? And I know we're not throwing the pyramids in there, these are just individual stunts, but look at the whole picture. So far, day one, we feel good and happy about the process. Talk to me again in a few days. <laughs> this week we are hosting our second Sunshine College retreat. We've invited a lot of the local colleges in. We brought some experts and just given them a little time to, to work on some of the, uh, the pyramids of skills. We break out the spotting belt. Uh, we bring in some different uh, experts in different areas and just kind of let these guys have a fun learning environment here in a great facility. Uh, they've been enjoying themselves. Uh, the athletes have progressed really well. We've had some uh, fantastic strides in. Uh, it's great to see the athletes grow and we look forward to uh, this event getting bigger and better every year. And it's really just the opportunity to kind of um, bring in some people from all over the country that are just some really, really experienced, um, awesome minds in cheerleading, just people who have so much knowledge um, to share. And personally for me at USF, it's really helpful because I'm able to come into this and say like, we brought you guys here and this is what I'm wanting to accomplish this week in terms of getting ready for our games, in terms of getting ready for our season. We feel like the goal is to bridge the gap between high school and college cheerleading. Uh, cheerleading has progressed so far, especially um, for all girl things that we're doing, we never thought were possible you know things always start co-ed and typically and then for all girl we got to figure out you know like anything you can do we can do also and what the techniques are and the skills are just going so far so fast we just feel like this is something that can really help train and bridge the gap between high schools and colleges as well as create kind of a camaraderie of if you get better we get better if we all get better then you know everybody's happy so I'm pleased and I know from talking with you know the other coaches the high schools the colleges like we all feel like the teams are getting what's in the best interest of their goals and that was kind of the goal of the sunshine to begin with. Hi, my name is uh, David McDowell. I am the former 
uh, coach at the University of Kentucky as well as the uh, University of Alabama and uh, coached our uh, USA co-ed team for four years. And we, my wife and I live in Memphis, got a little bit of a background in all the disciplines of cheerleading. What I like about the Sunshine Retreat is that we can make it personal to um, our team and our goals and really focus on what we need to do and how we need to get better as a team and as uh, personal athletes. We get um, more personal one-on-one -on -one instruction with all of the um, amazing knowledge that we have in the room from around the country, from Moorhead, Kentucky, Team USA. Uh, so that's really something to appreciate than just going to um, the other camps. And although they are amazing instructors, they aren't really told what we're working on um, as a team and what we need to do. Another thing that I like is that we get to follow our own agenda. So once again, it uh, caters more to our needs and what we need to work on and get better. Yeah, I'm excited. Our team is leaps and bounds like from where we were last year. So we're definitely going to have a good season, I think. I just hope that everyone keeps working the whole entire season to get to where we need to be by nationals. Rookies look up to us, so I just want to set an example and be a good senior and be a good leader for them. I want to be someone that they can come to if they need help during this process because it's not easy. Um, I want us to be positive, but also make sure that they know the standard of the team and just make sure that we are holding them accountable and that one day that they will be the same future leader whenever I do leave and they'll step up and take that part as well. For traditional, I am very excited. We're working on some cool things that I never thought we'd be able to even get close to. Coming in like my first year, I was happy to hit a rewind, even bump and go. And then now here we are working full twisting, extended hand to hands, front one and a halfs. And I just think it's insane the, it, the caliber we've gotten to here. Breaking down these skills and like um, focusing on what we want to improve gives us like a leg up on like how our skills are going to be in the future and how our technique is going to be in the future. Like we're 10 times better when we're able to break down each skill and like each element that we want to add to our routine for nationals. Because at the end of the day, this all adds up to what we're going to do on that nationals mat. So being able to really focus in and fix what we need to fix now, that way we can hit it as clean and as easily as possible in the future is what is going to make us, you know, a step up from every other team. I wasn't at June practices, but I'm at retreat now and I've been here for three days and I have learned so much more, especially from the other coaches from Moorhead and uh, Mark, for example, who come down and teach us stuff. I'm just learning so much. These practices are really, really tiring because it's like you're going on and just nonstop. Like we don't really get many breaks besides lunch. Um, so right now my body hurts a lot, but Usually how these things go, you keep going, you keep going, you keep going, and a little bit further down the line, you stop getting sore. Everything just hurts, but you're used to it at this point. So I'm just really, really hoping I get to that point in the next day or two, because right now my shoulders feel like they could fall off at any moment. I know I'm getting sore, I'm getting to that stage where like my muscles are fatiguing, my body's fatiguing, but this is the point in the process where you learn to keep pushing so that when we do get to the harder practices like December two a days and later on in the season, we have already gone through this process and we know that we can physically, mentally and emotionally keep pushing ourselves. So I'm just hoping that everyone stays positive and keeps pushing throughout this week so we can get better now because it starts now. The guys that um, like Lee and Sandy brought in, I mean, they are legends in this sport. So getting to work with them day in and day out this like whole week has been like awesome. And I can already see a major change even in my son group and like just the culture that we want to bring. Once the rookies get more like developed into the process of everything, they'll they'll be good, just like the rest of us. Here you just we just work you and you get the you get the best of the best, you get our knowledge and it's it's about building the programs, it's about building each athlete individually and it's it's at their discretion, you know what I'm saying? It's it's really it's really made for the for the people and for the athletes and and we're kind of here to guide them. I think the the spe like the guest coaches they brought in are some very very talented coaches. They are just they really understand cheerleading. Like 
And you're getting so many different perspectives and viewpoints from like super, super experienced people that really, really know what they're talking about. And I think it's beneficial for everyone. And I hope that everyone soaks all of the information they're learning in because it's rare that we get a chance like this where we can see and meet and get corrected by all of these people in the cheer world that are like some of the smartest people in cheerleading. We're able to break things down, uh, use some uh, non-traditional methods that you would have at camp, like we had the spotting belt here, which I thought was incredible for learning baskets, just keeping everybody safe. But more importantly, helping the, those young people have uh, confidence in what they were doing before they're actually throwing in a basket. Um, a lot of other camps, if you want to call them, whatever they are, you, you don't get that opportunity to do that. Um, and so I think this was a really perfect mix of just having the right amount of uh, people, but more importantly, the right, the right staff to come in and work with the, uh, with the teams this, over the last couple of days. It's like a big reunion, and we have a lot of fun, and we work hard, and it's awesome to work with incredible athletes. The all-girl team at South Florida have just been building and building over the last few years, and that's a huge credit to Sandy and Layton and their efforts and, and their mentorship, and then also their vision to bring in other people. I think one of the biggest things that I've witnessed over my three decades of cheerleading is, you know, cheerleaders are pretty confident people in general, and we're very assured of our knowledge and our experiences and how we do things. And I think it, it takes a very smart, um, special type of coach to welcome other ideas and welcome other influences that could be totally different than your perspective and have the confidence to do that and that's what they're doing here with South Florida and it's it's awesome to be a part of it. Hopefully everything that all of them have said that you guys will really soak it in. I feel like one, they've already said it, the sky's the limit as long as y'all put in the, the, the effort and the work to get to the limit because the potential is there. Now, what are we gonna do with it? And you've got a lot of people that have told you how much potential you have, but they've also given you the idea and the hints of what we need to do to get there. So now let's hold each other accountable. And we talked a lot about that word culture, the culture of how we're gonna, um, what you want of this season. What is the culture gonna be of this team? Like we said, leave no doubt. Like we need to kind of live that. It's not gonna be leave no doubt in January. That leave no doubt has to start today and tomorrow and the next day and every day after. So um, again, thank them for everything they've done to help us. Y'all might be oblivious to this, maybe you do know, but um, the, the, the talented group of men that were here and staff that were here, the entire cheer world knows them. And we, we've kind of written ourselves a, a check that we should be able to cash, meaning like we are extended hand to hand because Jomo did extended hand to hand class, better be at the top and locked up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Coleman was here teaching us full twists and rewinds and his program throws them like it's nothing. So guess what? Ours should be just as good, okay? I mean, Kaylin and, and, and David all worked on y'all on backhand full up one one ones and they, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the amount of talent and, and knowledge that was given to you is probably being, being other programs feel, probably feel jealous or just think, whoa, USF. Not to mention, you guys already put yourselves out there in the, in the cheer world with our docu-series and they know what our culture looks like. Either step, step up to the plate and own it because we want it for you probably but we don't, we don't want it more for you than y'all should want it for yourselves, okay? I couldn't be more proud of you this week. Um, we do things differently and we do it for a reason because we feel that's one of the best interests and the best for this program and each, and each of y'all. So um, like, be excited about it. Like opportunities and moments, that's all life is. Opportunities and moments. And right now you have an opportunity in front of you to put on, to, to have a very great season, a good one, but you, gotta, you guys gotta want that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Again, good job. Thank you very much for your hard work. You thank them again. We're not done though. You get a day off, hopefully it doesn't rain. And then we are back at the grind on what? On Tuesday with Wait. Okay. So, yeah. So let's talk about tomorrow then. So tomorrow we're gonna meet um, for, at the lagoon, okay? Um, at 10.30, I'll put all the information of where we're going. We can be there for the whole day from 10.30 to four is when we have to be gone by, okay? For uh, a day for y'all to get to know each other, relax, bond, and honestly- Work on your tans, because we're looking for it. 
and and just be excited about the season and everything that we are going to do because being a team is just as important as having talent too and then on that day Blake is en route to us so then we once we take that day off Tuesday we're back in here with Blake and then we practice again on um, Wednesday and then we have our clinic on um, Thursday which is it's the biggest all-girl clinic we've ever had. It is nearing 300 people. So it's yeah. going to be an opportunity for us to perform right off the top with a demo in front of a good crowd on next Thursday. Okay? So lots to be excited about, but tomorrow I think we need to enjoy each other. Okay? Today we are at the Wesley Chapel Lagoon for our first official USF all-girl team bonding of the 2023 to 2024 season. Really, we try to do bonding days in the summer every year, try to find you know, something that we can do as a team to just let them hang out and not do cheerleading, but be around each other and have a good time. I've gotten to kind of know people more in their personality outside of my son group especially because during practice you're mainly with the same like three four people it's been such a long week I feel like the lagoon is a great break for us It's a really good idea to do this like before the season starts so that we can really bond and come closer as a team before we get crazy into national season with two days and school. Team bonding outside of just practice is really important, especially on all girl teams and on teams this large. It allows you to start building those like new bonds and new friendships. And who doesn't love a day at a beautiful pool in Tampa, Florida? If I had them come to the front of the floor and ask some questions, they'll tell you right now what they can and can't do. Okay, well, let's just, let's just crisscross applesauce. I mean, because I need to know where their bodies are to build something. Okay, right now their body in this formation is where I would like them, but again, if there's okay, more tumblers right, in one place. It's okay. Okay. I just need to know where the people are that I'm building this. Like who has who the full vertical, who has, full, I who know, has I, the I know what you're saying. I still need to know who the, the people are. Yes, and I, so, I'd like to know too. Uh oh. He doesn't, you're saying you don't know. I don't know, know either. Oh. Okay. It, is, it is to that extreme. Blake came last year in the summer, but we hadn't put much of the routines together. He just kind of gave us a skeleton for game day. But this year he came in and we actually did the sideline and the little band cheer thingy at the end. And it was really beneficial because we actually started to put the entire game day routine together. We even ran the cheerful out and we worked on the band dance a little bit at the end. And I feel like just him coming is just gonna benefit us, especially being able to achieve perfection quicker, which will overall help us go back to back in the end. He comes during the summer, like during our retreat in camp. And what he does is you know, he helps us get a kickstart on the season in regards to game day, uh, band, sideline, and helping out with traditions, traditional routine. Because he comes early enough for us to do that, that gives us some, some materials to put on the sideline. I think the way you get better at, at performing a routine at Nationals is being able to perform it for your crowd and even being able to get a, a, kick, a head start on, on getting more reps in. I mean, we did things a lot different this year by not necessarily different from game day. We kept that, you know, the same because that worked, but we decided to do the same thing with traditional. Really, really solidify exactly what skills we wanted in the routine and how we wanted it. This year, um, Blake coming in early allows us to really put a little special touch on the opening because our strength, our weakness for the longest time has been um, running and standing tumbling. And what he did was pretty much give the girls some responsibilities as to what skills they're gonna, they're gonna have to have 
in, in 2024 when we finally get to nationals. He's very into it and he works very fast and he, you know, wants everybody to be on the same page and doing things a certain way. And I think as someone who has like competitive cheer background, I feel like that is a coaching style that I like and that I, you know, can pick up on and can vibe with. Getting that, that head start is really, really, really gonna help us in the long run. Thank, hey y'all, thank you so much. That was so much fun. Um, both routines, our routines, so much fun. The material, the content is there for the next few months. Make sure we bring it to life, yeah? Okay, we have to be better than our best, okay? And if last year, last year was our best in game day, this year we have to be better than that, okay? Last year was not the standard. It was actually what we're trying to be. Better than our best. Same thing in traditional, better than your best. What you think you're capable of, think 10 steps ahead of that and that's what you really are. Okay, never settle, never settle, never settle. Fight for what you want. And if what you want is a gold medal, first place, hitting a national championship routine, whatever, you have to put in the work, okay? If you hit a routine, let the judges do their job. But the goal is to hit a routine. If you, if you don't hit a routine, you can't expect anything. Hit a routine, let the judges do their job, okay? Yeah. Leave no doubt. Great job, thank you guys for working hard. There is a more than a certain expectation if you are standing in this room that you stand and you act the way I expect you to. You're one step ahead of the people that are working with you with smiles on your face, with tight arms. Every single thing you do is clean, whether you learned it two seconds ago or not. We don't stand up lazy. We don't act lazy. I'm not kidding. I will move people from this team for body language. Does everybody understand? So I expect the vibes to come from this team and I expect the standard to come from this and I will not accept anything less from any of you. That is the warning, right? Uh, we've already been told what you're capable of, but we've also been told your vibes need to change or people need to be, uh, like, you have to want it. We, we cannot want it more than you, but if I think I want it more than you, I'm not waiting this year, I'll just remove you. If I get the slightest vibe that I want it more than you, you won't be here. Okay, so. You're gonna go in there and you're gonna find a basket with your name on it. Once you find it, there's a pair of socks in the basket. You need to put those socks on. So you'll keep your shoes off. Take your shoes off, put the socks on, keep them off, and just stay in there, okay? Dogs are coming out, all right? So every year on the team, we get a big and a little. So it's when a vet gets paired up with a rookie, and it just kind of helps to like ease them into it, give them like a friend, and like vets like help them with certain things like you text your big instead of like directly going to the coaches for like stupid questions because there's no need to blow up their phone. So you'll be like, are we wearing this short today? Or are we wearing game day hair or low pony today? So you just, it's someone else to go to and it's like an extra friend that has been through it and can kind of ease them into the program. So once you're in front of the board, then you're gonna stand there and wait till I say go because I'm gonna check all the socks, double check, I'll make sure everything's in the right place. And then I'm gonna say go, you can run and lift up the poster board. Okay? Just look for the socks, stand in front of it. On the person. You'll see, you'll get it. Don't go yet, you'll see in a second. Big and Littles are just like a thing we do here to kind of give the rookies someone to look up to, talk to if they like don't know what's going on. And it just helps bring us all together as a whole. Ready, three, two, two and a half. <laughs> One, go! I knew it! Yay! I was right, I guessed it in the beginning. When we had, we just had our bigs and littles and it was supposed to be a surprise. I had kind of guessed already that it was gonna be Riley because she had been acting like my big for like, a while, like honestly, I had been a practice visit person, so I went to the practice visits before I tried out. And ever, like, even when I was a practice visit, she was helping me through everything. So it would have kind of not made sense to me if she wasn't my big. I requested Marissa because when she started visiting USF um, practices, we were always close, and I was always trying to help her because I could see that she has potential and she wanted to get better, so I just wanted to help her. If we are gonna to commit to our goals, we have to commit to the fact that we know that this many females getting along also has to be a commitment, okay? It's kinda of like 
marriage. It's not roses and rainbows every day of your life. It is work to sometimes to make sure that you water where you need to so the grass grows. This team is gonna be like that, okay? There are gonna be days where somebody's gonna be a bad mood and somebody's gonna say something snappy and somebody gets their feelings hurt. We're all girls, we've all been there. You have to give each other grace Take those moments with a grain of salt and know like, if we are all accomplishing what we need for us to have a successful football season and go into our comp seasons where we're, we're literally guns blazing, then we're on the right track, okay? So right now, go with your families and let's take about five minutes and reflect on all of these, those things. Very proud of you, good job, you guys. I just want y'all to know that it's all gonna come to an end and you're gonna look back on this and you're gonna remember a lot of things. You not, might not even remember the, the, the clinic performance. You're gonna remember each other. You're gonna remember what you wrote down in this book. You're gonna remember a lot more things outside of cheerleading than just cheerleading. So the banquet's coming. We're gonna celebrate this season, okay? We started, this is probably the, this is the best start of a, of a USF cheer program ever, in my opinion. I'm not blowing smoke up your behinds. It, it really, really, really is. But we gotta take this momentum and keep going. All right. If you get discouraged, pull that book out and read. Pull that book out and see how long, how far you've come. Or doc, or the doctor series. But that's all I'm saying. Good job, ladies. So tomorrow we have a clinic, and the coaches are saying it's going to be around th a little over 300 people, which is really exciting. It's really good for the program, and I think it just shows how much this program has grown. Um, we have a demo performance that we have to do before it. So last year when I was learning the routine for the demo, it was extremely stressful. Everything was happening so, so fast. Now I got it first time, got it. It's easy now, I'm used to it. I know how Leighton works with choreography now. Um, we had a big choreo day yesterday. I'm really excited to see how the demo comes together. I think it'll look really pretty if we can all hit it clean and good because all of these skills, we are all very much capable of doing and more. I'm excited for it because it's like the first time like doing something like with USF other than the coaches clinic that we did in June. But I'm also a little bit nervous because my side base is a back spot and she's, I don't know if she's based before, but she's doing pretty good right now. But I'm just also just like nervous because like I'm, we've never really summed this together, but we're doing good. So I think that we're going to be fine for it, but I'm excited for it. We ran through the performance, which of course is going to be the first time these freshmen get to represent USF in front of a crowd. Now, I have no clue what to expect, but I know that they're prepared. It is the first official performance tomorrow for 2023-2024 USF All Girl. And I'd like for you guys to take a couple quiet moments on your own to reflect before you go to bed this morning, okay? Or this evening and wake up tomorrow morning. <laughs> that did not come out right. <laughs> take two. With that being said, you know what I meant. Hands in, y'all can go. Good job. Good job, ladies. Thank you so much. One more. Ice, ibuprofen, rest, hydrate. Hold it. Okay, so that's why I say like we prepared for this. We've hit it already yesterday. We hit it on the second one. So today let's hit it on the first one. And like, just keep in mind that everyone out there is rooting for us. You know, like no one wants us to fall. No one wants us to do bad. Like everyone wants us to hit and everyone wants to see us succeed. So just like feed off that energy and like encourage each other. I think we did a good job today. Like during warm up, we had Matt talk and the energy was higher. So let's just feed off of that. And like, let's just go out there and have fun. We've been here at the Wiregrass Ranch Sports Complex for the last five days for our retreat. And then we just finished it off with a practice yesterday where we put something together that we can show you guys. So we all ready to meet the team. I think we got it. We got this. We got it, guys. Standard yeah. what we want to look like. Leave no doubt. 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 Ready? All girl on three. All girl on three. One, two, three. All girl. Woo! All right. For the first time, this is the 2023-2024 USF All Girl Cheer Team. Number one, that's what I'm meant to be. When my 
any means, only thing that makes sense to me. I can make nice or make history. I got that dog in me, yeah. Turn me up. I got that.